Yeah, so this is... Oh, I already forgot how to pronounce it. Elaylin... Elielin... Holy. Which is the vaults of Elil. If Google Translate is to be trusted, which it probably is not. But yeah, this map is cool because uh, this is the ending of map 2 here. And map 3 begins here, so you get a cool little hint of what's to come. Uh, quite nice. I think aesthetically this map is uh, might be my favorite. Go for it. Which isn't to say the other ones are ugly. It's just... I really love the uh, old clean snow with the warm lights and warm brown textures. It's very uh, cozy. Despite the intense sound from the morpher. Yeah, what a nice scene. Very impressive. doors are a little odd, but I'm sure it's on purpose. is very generous with his um, health health pickups in this map. It's like the perfect size for ogres. Like no matter where I was standing, I was in danger. Is a little on the dark side. I think um, 
It definitely contributes to the mood. There's a goodie back here somewhere. be underestimated. I'm gonna backtrack for a second because there are secrets. Certainly. Secrets that I'm missing. Everything loops together is very nice. It's it shows um, a lot of planning and a lot of iteration. I think. One thing for me about dark maps is that sometimes you doubt whether the secret is in plain sight or if it's in the dark somewhere. I need to ramp up to get up. It's almost like I can make it.
always count on the odds. But yeah, see, like, these pickups, there was a shell pickup back here in the dark, and that, in a way, plants a seed of doubt of, like, hey, is there more stuff in the dark? Do I need to start blind, like, running through the dark or shooting at dark corners to see what's there and stuff? It's a nitpick. It's not really, it's not a deal breaker, because optional stuff, but... You know. For he that desires a little bit of secret hunting. This rooftop area is really cool, too. I can imagine a whole map of just like rooftops and stuff. Right, so I was trying to ramp jump up here previously. Obviously, we don't need to do that. That would have been a major skip, I think. Hey, check out these statues and this building here. Really nice stuff. Like, these little statues have just enough definition to show you what they are. I love it. What a secret in this map would look like so far. No clue. Oh, and another thing, um, I feel like the audio, like the music for uh, the past couple of maps, maybe hasn't been a good fit. It's been a little bit too moody and too atmospheric for the pace of the maps. I feel like this track fits this map very well. Because it's a little bit slower paced, you know? And um, you have moments where there's not a lot going on, and that's nice for building tension. So I'd say it's pretty successful in that regard. Who's gonna drop them into this death pit? They're gonna fight amongst themselves. Yeah. If only I had a couple grenades.
I need a little break anyway. I squandered supplies a little bit thus far. But for the most part, it hasn't been too bad supplies wise. I did have one moment where I ran dry, but I quickly found more ammo. Odd little lights. Only ones like it. Oh. There are those too. I guess I just haven't been. I didn't see anything in the readme about um, fortress. This almost looks like a face here. That's probably not. Okay, so there's one more to go at that button. Damn, dude. Right, so I missed that button. Where about? So it must be in another area. It's not entirely clear. I'll find it eventually.
that's really neat. Mm. Ah, and this is the exit here. So not much huh. secret finding. I think this is a hint of the next map, isn't it? Mm. Let me see something. Yeah. So, maybe I'll backtrack and find another secret or two. Something. And you know, I'm wondering if maybe it's my graphic settings. Maybe it looks darker on my screen than on video. Huh. Huh. Something's odd. Mm. Wow, so he must have moved some of the... the fiends that fell in the pit. He must have teleported them back up somehow. Because I managed to get all the kills, and I made it a point to avoid the fiends that were at the bottom of that pit. But yeah, much like his episode 1 entry, I found this map to be pretty moody, uh, very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, that's what opens up. Shortcuts. But yeah, moody, aesthetically pleasing, interesting. Um, I found some of the combat was repetitive, but perhaps an overuse of the knights in the hallways. But overall, you know, good stuff. I'll be coming at you guys with uh, the next map. Soon.